This video goes out to the new earth leaders, the courageous souls who are taking steps to create a new world, a better world for all of us. And we're here to talk about business and talk about how we do business differently in the new world. Yeah, and the new measure of success because it's really shifted from chasing after results to how much impact are you creating and how many lives you're affecting and what's the ripple effect that your business is leaving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, for such a long time, business has been... Uh, the success of business has been measured by profits, by money by sales and that's not to say that these things aren't important there's a paradigm shift there's a focus shift occurring for those that are ready for those that are raising their consciousness opening their heart fields calling back of the more of their soul memory calling back more remembering that we're all one that we're uh, we're a collective of life force energy that came to this planet to co-create well those of us that are evolving, we don't want to be chasing the sale and the numbers. Mm -hmm. The KPIs, the numbers, the spreadsheets are actually draining quite a little bit on our fields. There's a new way to measure success and it still brings beautiful abundance into our world without us having to focus mm -hmm. purely on money, 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 sales, sales, sales. Mm -hmm. Miss Kelly Bowen, what is that way? <laughs> So, you know, the, the new measure of success really is by how much impact are you creating and how deeply are you anchored in divine service. And there is a direct proportion to your fulfillment and success in business by how deeply anchored you are into divine service. Yeah, which means that we're not measuring the dollar amounts anymore, we're measuring the souls we serve. Mm. And we build our empires, our beautiful, like, you know, businesses to have an infrastructure that can serve at the highest. And so we look at, okay, how many souls can we beautifully serve with this offering and ensure that the customer service, the customer experience is world class. And that's the number that we call in. That's the number we celebrate. And if we wish to call in more, if we wish to expand, then we build bigger infrastructures. We, you know, it's looking at how do we how many souls can we serve with what we have at the highest and if we wish to serve more we expand that infrastructure in the past it was just looking at sales people would be like i want to make this much money then they go off and make those sales and for the most part so many businesses would find themselves in over their head not being able to service the souls because they didn't ask the question how many souls can i serve and they didn't go after and measure the souls they're calling in. Our spreadsheets don't look like other people's. Our spreadsheets, Kelly's and I, we measure the souls we serve. We, you know, we have a level, we have a number of souls that we're wishing to serve and call in every single month and we celebrate that. And we continue, you know, marketing and, and calling in and doing whatever it is that we need to do to call in the soul number, not the money number. For us, well, it's translated to, you know, a fulfillment in our mission beyond our wildest dreams and having the beautiful gift to co-create and work with some amazing beings around the world. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I know even within the brokerage for me, like some of the world leaders in their spaces that I get to connect with that are so deeply anchored in this, it's just... It's amazing. And then the ripple on effect from there, like who they're working with and who they're working with. And it just continues on. And when, we, when we're able to connect and create this way from how many souls am I here to serve? And we're building our businesses from these places. We're creating in foundations of abundance. And whereas the old world was very much built on foundations of scarcity, which is why you see so many businesses grow so quickly and then crumble and grow so quickly and crumble. And when you step into this space and you're building and creating from the space of how many people can I serve? And when you want to go to the next level, you do the infrastructure work and you build the foundation of on abundance. You continue to grow ecologically and your tribe moves with you and they love you for it and they bring more people into your collective. And this really is the new way of business. There, there's no longer a race to get somewhere it's about how can we do this collaboratively and how can we connect and support each other to grow because if one of us thrives all of us thrives there's no longer that competition of me versus you no mm. absolutely and so if you're watching this and it's tickling your fancy 
here's some practical little tools and, and bits and bobs. Yeah. So number one, you know, this is advanced. This is an advanced way of doing business. What that means though is that this is for business owners who have a great infrastructure, which means that the offering is mature, the price points are grounded. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to business and you're watching this, there'll be other tweaks that you may need to make first. Because once we have a solid, beautiful offering in the market and that offering is profitable, which means we've been delivering it time and time again, we know it's profitable, we know it's scalable, then we're ready for this next stage. If you haven't got those pieces in place, please know that it's still really important to do that. There are people out there that their offerings aren't grounded, they may be new, they may need tweaking, and this wouldn't work as well for that. So this goes out to those that have that, and how it works is this. You know, we tune into how many souls. So, you know, say for example, when I'm looking at a container that like I do mentoring and coaching and say I was to take the New Earth Mission Collective container, which is a 12 month journey for business owners to receive new earth coding, new earth templating and to transform each department for it to be vibing in the highest frequencies of service and abundance and restructuring everything, right? Now, I have coaches on board. We've got so much infrastructure built out, a full team. And I still know very well how many souls we can onboard at any particular time per month without losing this. So every soul will speak to me directly so I can tune into their field. They'll be placed into a grid work and start being worked on. I create a personal plan for each soul, which means that, you know, I, I, I can't take on a hundred people a month into this container. I'm break. right the um without compromising the service and the like you know and the like what the souls receive and so for me I'm very comfortable when we're calling souls in and when I'm opening this up I'm, I tune into what I can do and I am very comfortable to call in and, and have anywhere between five and ten souls come in in a month's time provided I've got the space for it and I share this with you because when like right now I'm about to I'm, we're, we're calling in more souls to this container mm -hmm. and right now there's space created to be able to deliver all of these services because there's a lot of work to you know to uh, to establish an account for a beautiful client mm -hmm. now therefore when I'm calling them in I know and I'll be like okay great this month we can call in six souls and I'll do the math on the service yeah the um, and there might be other products that we're also doing that with I know the profitability. I know what that translates into, of course, profit as well. And you want to be looking at this too, because we're calling in souls. If that doesn't mean we don't get rewarded. Mm -hmm. And if it truly is the goal of the business to be bringing in a certain amount of currency per month to take care, of course, we've got expenses. We may be investing in all sorts of projects. Mm -hmm. We also want to live an awesome exactly. life. So then we look at, okay, you know, if I can take in these six souls, what is the profitability on these six souls? And does that actually give me the abundance that I'm looking for? If the answer is yes, thumbs up, we just go. If the answer is no, it means that there's some restructuring to do. And either our infrastructure needs to grow more support, potentially maybe our price point is actually not profitable. There are businesses out there that aren't profitable. They're, they're, they're going in too low, you know, thinking that they'll make more sales. And that's just old world. Yeah. You know, new world, we serve souls and of course we'd be rewarded as well. And so therefore, the measure becomes, great, we're calling in six souls and we tune into them and we call them in and we celebrate each mm -hmm. one. And here's what I found. When I've got a soul number that I'm calling in per month or per quarter, I don't give up. Because at core, I'm fundamentally mission driven and every soul watching this will be mission driven. We are more motivated for the sake of a better word inspired driven there's more life force energy that cultivates when we're serving when we're wanting to serve a soul mm -hmm. than when we're just calling in money yeah, so absolutely. many people give up on their money goals because oh they got tired whereas when it's like oh, calling in these souls because if these souls get served the ripple effect is tremendous it's actually one of the biggest things that i've noticed between the difference between a pure entrepreneur that cares about the money and more new earth 
business, mission-driven business owners, they don't, it's not the money that excites them. It's not the money that gets them out of bed. And when they link it to this, how many people am I here to serve this month? This is when it really grows. Like I know for me, um, particularly with the brokerage, it was a little bit meaningless until we started linking the personal loans with the education products and online business and helping people get paid in full for their courses up front. That was like one of the biggest defining moments where something that otherwise seemed quite tangible all of a sudden grew all this meaning and the growth since that meaning has been attached to it has been phenomenal. Yeah. Like I can literally see the, um, what's the word, the, the tangibility with the, with the connection to the mission and the growth of the business in the bottom line. There's just from a yeah. frequency perspective though, like we've got to remember too, when we're genuinely anchored into service, we're, we're anchored into our soul signature frequency. Mm-hmm. Our, soul, our soul is beyond this physical plane of existence. Mm-hmm. And it is driven by ex- ex- expansion, evolution, contribution. Mm-hmm. And so when we tap into contribution, then we're tapping into a life force frequency within us that creates worlds. Our soul comes on board. Our guides, our you know, beautiful like soul family supporting mm. us come on board. The universe comes on board yeah. because the frequency is so pure of intent. It's serving everyone. And there's nothing more magnetic or sexy than a person that is standing in their true, authentic soul essence. And it's just a resonant and a magnet for the people needing to receive your codes. It's undeniable. And you can tell when it's not as well. Oh, a billion yeah. percent. And so we measure souls, we tune in how many souls. We look at all the different products and we look at, you know, how many souls can we call mm-hmm. in? And if we feel full, how, what's the infrastructure that needs to stretch in order for us to be able to, like, when we ask better questions, we better build results. true, true new earth empires. Yeah. And the people within them, oh, they thrive. Mm-hmm. They rave with joy to, to receive from mm-hmm. us. And the satisfaction, the fulfillment from that, you know, to me, nothing beats it. Nothing. It's the most magical experience. Like when you get to see someone shine because you've taken them through this incredible product, like there is really nothing more magical. And so we invite all the beautiful souls watching this to join us in measuring success by the souls Mm -hmm. we serve at the highest, Mm -hmm. which means that I am successful when I call in these six souls, for example, because I know I can serve them at the highest. When service, outstanding service becomes the benchmark and we continue to grow from here. Mm-hmm. We're constantly looking at how do I expand and serve? How, like, you know, that becomes the new success. Yeah. When more and more people say, wow, that company, that product mm-hmm. is second to none. And this means that if every single company around the world was to shift this way, imagine the ripple effect over one year, two years, 10 buyer's remorse would just disappear people would trust again this would create unity within the whole human collective we can change the world with the way we run business it's that's how much power there is right oh i so deeply believe that like as at at core as business owners we we dictate how we interact with each other and if we're bringing back the love and the trust and the kindness that's going to ripple on like people are going to take that home with them they're going to pass that on to their kids and their friends and their family and it's just going to ripple out and this is how we change a culture this is how we really create that new earth it's how we anchor the love frequency how we raise the vibration of the planet and we all shift yes yeah. And then that supposed six souls becomes mm-hmm. millions mm-hmm. because they were served with love. Now they've shifted their frequency. Mm-hmm. They go home, they treat their children, their partners better. You know, then they go off to school and work and they're kinder. And the whole thing ripples out. Yeah. It starts here though, you know, if we truly say that we're here to create a, a new earth with our products, with our services, then. There's the infrastructure of how we do what we do. Why we do mm-hmm. what we do is so important. It's not just the service. It's mm-hmm. all the back end. Yeah. You know, it's like looking at the, yeah, the devotion to having a beautiful back end operation that no one would even see or know about. You know, what are we doing that no one sees, that mm-hmm. no one knows about, that adds all these little one percenters up for us to truly be able to anchor our mission, fulfill our missions on this planet. Yeah. So that's our invitation to you. We would love for you to come on this new earth journey where we start measuring ourselves for success based on how we're serving. Yes.
<laughs> Much love, and you'll find out more about us in the Up, text. Down somewhere. Down somewhere <laughs> for more content. Thanks for watching.